Football rivalries across the world have always commanded our attention. Whether it be Real Madrid versus Barcelona or AC Milan against Inter Milan, these matches always bring out the passion in us. However, there's one rivalry that's gained unprecedented importance in modern football. Manchester City versus Manchester United. Football runs through the blood and streets of Manchester. And for years, Manchester United had the upper hand in the head-to-head matchups. The Manchester derby has always been a fierce affair and it's only intensified in recent years. With the dominance of Manchester City growing over the last decade and it all famously started on an historic day in 2012. But first, let's do a quick rewind. Ardent fans would remember that the city of Manchester wasn't always coloured blue. Winning the Premier League was an honour typically reserved for the historic bullies, Manchester United. Both clubs have over a century of history, with United always having City's number. For years, Manchester City were just the smaller and less successful neighbours of the biggest and most successful club in the most tough league in the world. The 1986-87 season following an 11th place finish saw United sack Ron Atkinson and bring in the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson to the hot seat, a move that would kick off their golden era. From Ferguson's appointment to his retirement, Manchester United won a total of 38 trophies, while City in the 80s were relegated and had to earn back their promotion. On the 23rd of September 1989, City did the unthinkable and beat United 5-1 in the Manchester derby. But little did they know that it would be their last victory over United for the next 30 years. Things changed in 2008 when Emirati billionaire Sheikh Mansour showed interest in the blue half of Manchester. Having bought the club, the new ownership soon started bankrolling hefty sums to acquire talent. It was a big deal for City fans as the club hired trophy-winning Italian coach Roberto Mancini and began their climb up the Premier League table. City fans were finally able to dream, a dream of one day bringing the Premier League title home, a dream that would soon become reality. The 2011-2012 Premier League season began on the 13th of August 2011 and ended with Manchester City sealing their first league title since 1968, with Manchester United finishing the league second. The neighbouring clubs fought for first place during the season, and United clearly seemed to have the upper hand entering April. But a loss at Wigan and a follow-up draw at Everton evened the odds. City and United met for a crucial Manchester derby on the 30th of April. With three games remaining in the season and sitting in first place, United's manager Sir Alex Ferguson sent out a conservative defence team. Essentially playing for a draw, each team would get a point in the standings and United would remain on top. But City captain Vincent Company had other ideas. With a moment of brilliance, the defender headed the ball into the corner to give City the match's only goal. The victory tied the teams atop the table, with City holding the edge on goal difference. Such were the circumstances heading into the final game week fixtures, which all kicked off at the same time. City were at home in Manchester facing QPR, while United played away at Sunderland. All City had to do to stay in first place was match United's result. If United lost, City would win the Premier League. If United drew, City had to draw themselves. If United won, City were to mirror that. The word got out quickly in the blue part of Manchester that up in Sunderland, Wayne Rooney had scored for Manchester United to give them the lead. Meanwhile, City and QPR were into injury time with two all on the scoreboard. With United rolling towards victory, even a two-all draw wouldn't be enough for City. City desperately needed a goal, their fans praying with all their will. At Sunderland, United wrapped up a 1-0 victory, sending the United faithful into celebrations, at least tentatively. With City fans in terror and amidst waves of nervous rage came the moment of history. Aguero! A goal by the Argentine, winning it for City on the day and making them Premier League champions. It's easy though to romanticise the past and it's easy to talk up the virtues of failure. But modern football is modern football and few fans of other clubs would turn down a chance to experience what the Man City fans had experienced. From then on, Man City have gone from being an average team to being the most dominating side on the field. From spending money on top players to having arguably the world's best coach, City have grown from strength to strength to win the Battle of Manchester. With this season also drawing to a close, the difference between the two clubs of Manchester is quite significant. While one side almost closes in on another Premier League title, the other still looks on with hopes of just getting into Europe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and comment below which other football rivalries you want us to explore. And for more content from the beautiful world of football, stay tuned to Sportskeeda.